You know, I I, th- I can only go by what I've what I've heard that Spence is kind of did some damage to uh you know Crawford before when they you know sparring and stuff like that a long time when he was sparring with uh uh Floyd and you know he had the accident but it looked like he, he jumped back. You know, I think that it's gonna be he's too patient for he might be too patient for Crawford. Like too patient, he's too long, he's too tall. He's in the ring with big guys all the time, getting banged up and hit. Like in Houston, like Jamal Charlo, uh, uh, Laura. I mean, he's in the he's in the ring with all kind of champions there around his weight class. They're they're good, um, and they're bigger. So I think that you know he will be able, be able to withstand a fight, especially. Uh, Especially at 54, but 47 might be a little harder because it's a drain a little weight. But I don't know. I just got, I mean, Crawford is a great fighter, and Crawford has a, more of a mentality when he gets in the, the ring and fight like I did. Um, I just think that's going to be harder for him to, 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 to fight with a guy he's been in the ring with before. They both know each other, they both know what's going on. And you know, I think Earl knows how to stay on that jab and just keep him at bay. You know, keep him lunging, keep him trying to get in. He's not gonna. It's not gonna be an inside fight. You know, he's not gonna be a chance to to get in there and and throw those big shots like somebody smaller or you know around his weight or that doesn't box like Earl does. Earl is a like a boxer. He's a boxer puncher. He can win. It's fifty fifty. But I just kind of lean a little bit to Earl Spence because of their history and because. You know, he doesn't have anything to, like, it's not like, oh, I got to watch out for this trick shot, that trick shot, because he knows, you know. So I think the boxer is going to be able to out, maybe outbox him and keep him at bay and, you know, make it hard for Earl, I mean, for uh, Crawford to get in. He, you know, he's going to be getting around a lot of that stuff, I think. But the other, side, I wouldn't be surprised if if Crawford, you know, catch him with one of them haymakers and you know puts him down. But that could happen too. It's a great fight. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Blue Blood Sports TV back at y'all with another one. So three division world champion, retired, legendary, iconic Hall of Fame superstar boxer, Sugar Shane Mosey, who retired, forty nine wins, ten losses, one draw, forty one big wins, one uh, in his knockouts. Uh, 41 big wins by way of knockout. One time in his career, he was knocked out. Uh, stood at five foot eight and a half with a 71 inch arm reach. The last time we saw him in the ring was May of 2016 when he took on and lost to David Avenesian. With that said, Shane Mosley he weighs in on the biggest fight in boxing, the biggest fight in the welterweight division, the biggest fight in boxing in the last 40 years. That is the undefeated, undisputed welterweight showdown between undefeated, unified, three belt WBA, WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely considered by many to be top two, if not number one, definitely top five pound for pound best fighters in the world. And Earl, the truth, Spence Jr. Earl Spence Jr. has a record of 28 wins, no losses, no draw, 22 big wins by way of knockout, 33 years of age, 5 foot 9 and a half with a 72 inch arm reach, and undefeated, three division world champion, former junior welterweight, undisputed world champion, currently the reigning WBO, World Boxing Organization welterweight world champion, superstar boxer who is widely considered by many to be the number one best pound for pound fighter in the world. In Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford has a record of 39 wins, no loss and no draw, 30 big wins by way of knockout. He is 35 years of age, 5 foot 8 with a 74 inch arm reach. Now, Shane Mosley, he campaigned at welterweight. He campaigned. He was one of the greatest lightweights in the history of the sport of boxing at 135. He became one of the best junior welterweights. But Shane Mosley, he dominated at the welterweight division, okay? He predominantly, he jumped from 135, he challenged. Uh, Olympic gold medalist, sixth division world champion, Mexican American superstar, retired Hall of Fame boxer in Oscar the Golden Boy De La Hoya, and he won the fight. With that said, uh, Shane Mosley he gave his thoughts on this highly anticipated fight, July 29th, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena between the two, Errol Spence and Terence Crawford. And shockingly, Shane Mosley 
reveal something that I wasn't aware of. I have never heard before, but this is what Shane Mosley stated that he knows and he's heard, which is that Errol Spence had did damage to Terrence Crawford in their sparring sessions. He said when they met up in sparring, Errol Spence did damage to Terrence Crawford, just like he did when he faced off in, against legendary former foe, retired, iconic Hall of Fame superstar boxer, top five greatest fighters in the history of sport of boxing, pound for pound king, pay-per-view king, five division world champion, the man formerly known as Pretty Boy, currently known as TBE, and formerly known as Money, Floyd Mayweather Jr., whom Shane Mosley had faced off against. And Shane Mosley is one of the few people that landed a big cringing punch on Floyd Mayweather twice in one round. Looked like he could possibly have Floyd Mayweather out. He didn't succeed. But nonetheless, Shane Mosley, he faced Floyd Mayweather. And he stated that we know the it's widely uh, known that Floyd Mayweather and Errol Spence had two uh, uh, well, one glorified sparring session where uh, Shane, Shane Mosley, like he stated, and many people, including Floyd Mayweather, stated that Errol Spence got a lot of good things done against Floyd Mayweather, had a lot of success. He got the best of Floyd Mayweather in their sparring session, right? Floyd Mayweather said he gave him good work. This was ahead of Floyd Mayweather's showdown with Robert the Ghost Guerrero. Shane Mosley and, and Floyd Mayweather fought May of 2010, 2010. Now, this sparring session between Floyd Mayweather and uh, Errol Spence was back in 2013, okay? After Floyd Mayweather had beaten Shane Mosley, right before Sh uh, Floyd Mayweather was actually preparing for Robert DeGhost Guerrero, he, who he was fighting May of 2013. Uh, Robert Guerrero is a southpaw, and he brought in Errol Spence to mimic Robert Guerrero. And that's when we know that Errol Spence, he even blackened Floyd Mayweather eye. With that said, I've never heard of Shane Mosley, uh, what he's saying and claiming that Errol Spence did damage the same way he did to Floyd Mayweather. He did that to Terrence Bud Crawford. I've never heard that. We would have heard that this was the case in the buildup. They had two uh, major press conferences to promote this fight already. And if this was to be the case, then we would have this would have been brought up in the press conference right now everything else shane mosley said i like him what he said he said that errol spence is used to fighting bigger guys that are southpaws that are technically sound that are fundamentally sound that are skilled and talented and errol and terence croft is going to have a hard time finding his way in errol spence is big he's fundamentally sound he's a southpaw He's rangy. He has a good boxing skill. So he stated that it's going to be difficult for Terrence Crawford to find his way on the inside. But when he said that he did damage to him in sparring, that's new to me. I have never heard of that. And again, in these two press conferences to build up this fight, we would have heard about these two or this glorified sparring session that Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence had that Errol Spence did damage to Terrence Crawford in. Uh, now, he did say another thing, and this is why he's basing it off of giving Errol Spence the nod, is because he said that Errol Spence is very familiar with Terrence Crawford's tricks and that Terrence Crawford can't present anything to Errol Spence that he hasn't seen because of their sparring session. But again, I don't believe they ever sparred. I've never heard of them sparring and Errol Spence doing damage to Terrence Crawford. This would have been widespread within the world of boxing if this were to be the case. So I don't know. I believe that Shane Mosley got misinformation unless they kept this uh, glorified sparring session a secret. And it's the best secret boxing has ever seen. Because if you have the biggest fight in 40 years and you have two of the best top five pound for pound best fighters in the world facing off against each other and they had a glorified sparring session that one got the better of the other, this would be widely known within the sport of boxing. Just like you know about Tank Davis and Devin Haney. Just like you know about Earl Spence and Floyd Mayweather. Uh, just like you know about Mitch Green and Mike Tyson back in the days. Okay, we would have known about, like we know about Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson. Right? Just like we know about uh, Roly Romero and Ryan Garcia. 
we would have known about this sparring session. So I don't. I think that Shane Mosley got misinformation, and he's basing his uh, pick off of that misinformation. Nonetheless, Errol Spence is technically sound. He's very gifted, and he has a high ring IQ. And if they did spar, I had no doubt that Errol Spence may have gotten the best of Terrence Crawford in that sparring session. I have no doubt. It's nothing is impossible. I definitely believe that that would be the case. You know, in the sparring session, that could very well be the case. But I just don't think it ever happened. But this fight is garnering a lot of attention, a lot of momentum. It's the biggest fight in 40 years, and I can't wait to see how it unfolds. But Shane Mosley, I believe, has misinformation. And he's right with everything else he stated outside of basing it off of Errol Spence knows the tricks of the trade when it comes to Terrence Crawford because he's familiar with their sparring session. Outside of that, I agree with, with, some, with most of the things he's stated. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. I'm signing off. I'm gone. Peace.